I don't want to jump on your time because I know you all have important things to do, but I would like to respond to the attack that you mentioned. You may do so. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'd like to explain what that, uh, that attack dealt with, if nothing else, for members of the committee than for my three children here who may be a little surprised by what they just heard. Uh, as they, I think, know, I've spent my life uh, challenging what is called morals legislation. What the Democratic member attacked me for are laws that dictate to others how they should live their lives. Some of those laws have been used against gay and lesbian uh, couples. They've been used against minorities. The individual that the member described, I condemned. I represented the sister wives in a case challenging that law on the basis of individual rights. The, the trial court ruled in our favor and struck down that law the first time that type of law had ever been struck down. The Tenth Circuit later dismissed on technical grounds. But I just want to end with one other thing, and that is it's not going to make a difference. You know, this has become a pattern of witnesses, whistleblowers, FBI agents, journalists being attacked in Congress. It won't make any difference. It won't change the constitutional standard. It won't negate any evidence that you have. But at some point, you've got to say, enough. You know, that we have to have something, the public has to have something in Congress to look to, to have faith. And I have to tell you, it's not that I think that absurd attack meant any difference to my children or to the people that are watching. It makes a difference to our process. Witnesses should not have to Mr. Chairman, I charts. just, I, I hate to no, inter interrupt Professor over, Turley, but could our witness get equal time then, because we're um, over a minute over. Has, has Chairman, your witness? Gentlemen, the, the gentlemen's time people. has expired. He responded to the uh, false allegations by your members, and I apologize for how you all have been treated. I apologize to the American people watching this hearing for the parliamentary stunts that the other side has pulled. I think people in America care about public corruption. The title of this hearing is an impeachment inquiry. And I think that Mr. Turley's done a good job explaining the basis for why we need to take impeachment inquiry and move forward. We have led this investigation, and now we need the impeachment inquiry status as we move forward to get the uh, information that we have been obstructed by this administration and by this family. And that's what the purpose of this hearing is. Don't create another false narrative. With that, the chair recognizes Thank Mr. You, Mr. Gomez Chair. from California.